the output of uh, th this high voltage output right here from this diode from the ignition coil is going to the high voltage rod and you can see that this is really just the uh, bare basic um, plasma setup because if I put that there turn on the power spin my trigger okay that's a little bit too far let's see I like that okay so what that proves is that that's basically my high voltage uh, discharge on the front and um, with this effect the caps are also directly discharging and it's not just the ignition coil it's a combination so anyway that's showing that basic concept now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the positive of that coil put it onto the high voltage rod so just like in a gray tube high voltage rod you got the high voltage discharge coming this way then there's a gap and then you have this low voltage rod which um, is sitting with uh, these diodes uh, opposing it. So the cathode of the diodes is at the rod and so the high voltage from here jumps into the low voltage rod against these reversed uh, diodes 15,000 volts uh, 6 amp diode bank. These are 6A100 uh, diodes each are 1000 volts 6 amps so it's going through the diode bank and then the output, output of the diode bank or actually the input for voltage is um, this green wire going to the positive on the 1200 volt cap bank and then the ground on the cap bank is going back and is I'm going to connect this directly to um, the ground on the high voltage source so high voltage output over the gap backwards through the diode bank into the positive of the cap bank negative is going back to the ground and so a lot of people think that you can't jump backwards into the diodes but we've shown over and over in the uh, grade tube replication thread explanations and things that go back several years showing why the diodes will let you do this but anyway what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the power back in and um, a lot of the noise and the spark and everything is muffled inside that tube but it's jumping and what I'm going to show you is that not only is it jumping into so each of these caps are 330 volt or 200 volts 330 microfarads so 330 divided by about 6 is about I don't know 50 microfarads or something like that um, at 1200 volts now this uh, capacitor bank is sitting at 4 volts right now 5 volts and what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin this and you can see when I I'll just spin it and, and get that get it going on if you can hear the clicking okay and then we can look at this and it's charged up to 20 volts see I'm, I got it on right now okay and if I stop it then you can see it's at 26 volts so it's going backwards and if there's a battery here and, and you got even more high voltage on the front if there's a 12 volt battery here it will intercept this just like in the gray tube the low voltage rod will intercept the blast and um, not only will it punch into the battery but obviously the battery can um, emit current from its positive terminal backwards towards the high voltage source okay so we know that the high voltage here will jump into um, a diode bank this inductor this coil right here is not even in the circuit right now and I just did this just to show that um, the high voltage here will jump a gap into diodes into a low voltage source and will even recover some of, of what's going in there and what I'll also do is I don't know if you can hear that clicking that's the spark inside there kinda of hard to see but what I'm gonna do is I'm turning on the power and I'm charging this diode bank this uh, cat bank up and it's sitting at 1160 volts and if I trigger this, you can see that spark, it doesn't matter if it's 4 volts or over 1,000 volts, that high voltage is still finding ground by jumping the gap. It's jumping the gap, directly slamming into 1,000 volts um, sitting there. 
So it doesn't matter that it's a positive, it's a lower potential positive coupled, uh, connected by a common ground right there so that the high voltage can go back to ground. So